So here is the absolute Ward Harris. Now, it seems like all these fighters like coming out in the broadcast table when you call their fight. So when we worked Harris's last fight in October, after the fight, went the distance, he came over the table, and you told him he needed to do more. There's no denying, though, when he's active and when he's on, brings a whole lot to the table. I wish I could have given him a better assessment of his fight, a more positive assessment, but it was the truth. And his opponent went on to headline a card a couple months later. Walt Harris, when he is on his game, he has a fantastic jab. His best punch is his straight left hand. He's going to have to defend the takedown tonight and land that left hand. You see him throw, he throws with conviction against Cody East here. You see that left hand land and put Cody East on his back. Now, because of his strength, the long arms, the long body of a basketball player, Walt Harris is able to land damaging finishing type blows from the guard. If Walt is on his game, this is a fight that he thinks he can win and he can win going away. Well, and he's favored to win the fight tonight at minus 145. Chase Sherman, the plus 115 underdog. You see Walt Harris trains out of American top team. There's no denying the potential. I mean, when you watch him work in there, he moves like a man. Half his size. It's college football versus college hoops tonight. He started training in 2008 after a college basketball career at Jacksonville State University. Actually, at 6'5", had some NBA tryouts as well, but shortly thereafter switched his focus to mixed martial arts and now tonight makes his sixth UFC appearance. And you mentioned the fight in October. That was against Shamil Abdurrahim, yes. who of course went on in December to headline against Derek the Black Beast Lewis. So this is a division of opportunity. There is no denying that. We'll see if Walt Harris can take advantage here in short order. It doesn't take much because heavyweights make statements and they make them quick. We talked to his coach Dean Thomas and he said the focus on this camp has been to, to work on on the athleticism, on the movement, being that active, that great A-plus athlete that he knows Walt Harris can be. Once he achieves that potential, he believes that Walt Harris will be unstoppable. He's excited. He can move. He can fight. He's from a great team. He needs to get better every time he steps into the octagon.